If you see a pig in a blue house, in a screw house, you know. Oh, shit. people how's it going <laughs> welcome to the dynamite gizmo podcast everyone episode 199 199 199 199 splines that's what i'm talking about folks enough of the gay jokes today's card it's tradition around here to show you the card but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card but you'll find out anyway why because we'll talk about it all right so um i'm back at it episode 199 and i've decided to go back to this motherfucker all right this is a crisp clean mic i've got my audio interface working properly and uh we're not going to have any background noise, nothing. It's perfect. It's beautiful. For now, until I get a much better setup, which I will. I uh, just don't know when that is. Oopa loopa, body ass bitch! Every th- everything audio-wise should be fucking good from here on out. Ever since I got this new fucking computer, every single episode I've been saying, Oh, the audio's off. The, <coughs> the audio's off. The audio's off. And it has been, all right? I stopped mentioning it because I was sick of fucking every episode having to mention that the audio was fucked. Every episode, I had to go in and fuck around with the levels to make it work properly, all right? But now, I shouldn't have to. It should be fucking biggity bang bang chunk chunk a fung fung, all right? But sometime in the near future, sometime in the 200s, by 200s I mean the episodes that are in the 200s. I'm going to get a better audio interface and I'm going to get better microphones. Just you fucking wait, guy. Just you fucking wait, guy. You think I'm fucking around? Jackpot. I don't fuck around, guy. I don't fuck around. Especially now that we're at episode 199, Dynamite. We're at episode 199, Dynamite. That means one episode away from 200. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Do you know what that means? That means I got to make the episode extra fucking special. And by the way, now that I'm using this, I can actually hear myself in the headphones. When I was using this bastard, couldn't hear myself. And don't get me wrong, I like the old Blue Yeti, and I'll still use them. All right? I'll still use them when I'm streaming, but for this, Mr. Sure is the way to go. I have, we don't have to get technical into this, but let me just say this. I have two audio interfaces that I've had since day one. The nicer one that looks nice and has the better knobs doesn't work as well. It has, you, you, you go to fucking activate it and it goes the whole time. So we don't want that. No, we don't. No, we don't. And plus, I spent I spent a beautiful amount of money on this really nice mic uh, arm. So I want to use it. And uh, I'm going to use it, and you're not going to stop me. I have a, uh, a, a mirror behind my camera right now so I can see the uh, viewfinder, and it's slowly tilting down. It's slowly tilting down, which is so nice because it, it's going to get to a point where I can't even see. I got to I got to fix it. It's it's getting bad. OK, now it's too high. <laughs> oh, whatever, dude, whatever. I can see if I can see, I can see. I also readjusted the angle of the camera so you can see more of the shrums, huh? 
you need to be able to see the shrums. All right, and you can see some of the curtain there. But guess what? Don't give a fuck. That's what. Don't give a flying fuck. Last episode, I mentioned the uh, Tom Brady rast. Oh. The Tom Brady roast. And I said I didn't check it out. Uh, but guess what? I did. I did end up watching it. And uh, it was good. It was very good. Uh, but the thing is, I don't watch football. I don't know any of the fucking guys that were up there. I, uh, I got the jokes, for the most part, uh, through subtle context clues. But uh, I'm not a football fan, so a lot of them didn't hit with me. But I'll tell you this, as you guys already know, Nikki Glazer fucking th- killed it, dude. She knocked it out of the fucking Yankee Stodium studio. St- what do you call it? Stadium. <laughs> the Yankee Stodium. She fucking killed it. And I would have never guessed that Nikki Glazer would have been my favorite set of the night. But guess what? She fucking was. She did great, dude. And you all know that. Everyone agrees. They're like Nikki Glazer. Boppity boopity bump. She did fucking awesome. Tony Hinchcliffe came in second. All right. But we all know Hinchcliffe. All right. He's a fucking, he's, he's a roast master general. Aside from Jeff Ross, who's been in the game forever. But uh, Tony Hinchcliffe, he writes roast jokes. He's been writing roast jokes for people on roasts since forever. All right. So his set was fucking phenomenal. But I got to admit, Nikki Glazer's was still fucking above him. I hate to say it because I fucking love Hinchcliffe. But guess what? I've always been a fan of Nikki Glazer. But I'm even more of a fucking big fan after that. Because it was so goddamn good. Now I'm not even sure if she wrote the jokes. I'm sure she had some part in writing them. But I don't know if she wrote every one of them. I think someone else was involved. And if that's the case, maybe I don't like her as much. I don't know. The delivery was still fucking bananas good. All right? And I hate to say it. Tom and Bert. Tom and Bert. Guys, you fucking dropped the ball. I'm sorry. I mean, the internet agrees, but I mean shit. I don't like to shit on comedians ever. Because if you're involved in the stand-up comedy world, which I'm, I'm not, I don't do stand-up. But I watch stand-up, and I watch all of their podcasts. It's all I do. If you know me, that's what I do, okay? I don't watch TV. I don't watch movies. It's podcasts or nothing. So I know what it takes to be a stand-up comedian because they all talk about it all the time on their podcasts. So I know the intricacies. I know it's difficult. I know it's hard, blah, 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 blah. It takes, it takes at least like 10 years to get your craft right, blah, 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 blah. What am I getting to? Here's what I'm getting to. Tom and Bert have been in the game forever. They know what they're doing. All right? They sell out stadiums and fucking arenas, and they, they're, they, 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 they travel the fucking world doing their stand-up. But this roast, the Tom Brady roast, the tag team that they had, it just, it just wasn't it, dude. It wasn't it. It didn't hit. I didn't. It wasn't funny. It sucked. And I hate to say it because although I'm not a fan of Burt Kreischer. I liked Segura. And I have liked him. You know, YMH, of course. But it's fallen off over the years. And it doesn't appeal to me as much as it used to. And it sucks to say that. Because. Well, because. Because it's Tom Segura, and I love him, and I love his booty, and I want to munch it. I want to munch the nuggets out of his hairs, but now I can't because he's all buff and and fucking muscular, and Bert's on that way too, all right? They're fucking uh, testosterone up, and they're fucking getting jacked. It's taking away the funny. It's taking away the funny, and we don't want that. We don't want that, all right? Andrew Schultz, 
on uh on the roast good job uh was not nearly as good as nikki glazer or tony hinchcliffe all right i'm also a fan of schultz i'm going to see him in uh july at the great outdoor comedy fest him and shane gillis and i can't fucking wait dude all right shane gillis is number one for me right now i had an opportunity to see him in edmonton like uh two years ago maybe a year and a half ago no it might have been two years i don't fucking know and i decided not to go because i didn't know who he was i knew who he was but i was not following his stand-up it was like right after his downfall of his cancellation. And I never agreed with the cancellation. I, n- I usually don't ever agree with any cancellations, but, and that's not a reason why I didn't go see him. Okay, guys, let's do some dancing. Let's show me my moves. I just decided that I didn't want to go to the comedy show because I didn't know who he was. And I fucked up, dude. As far as Shaddy and Meat Souls. I fucked up. Guess what, bitch? I fucked up and I should have went, but you know what? The past is the past. The present is now. The future is tomorrow. And I'm going to go see him at the great outdoor comedy fest, comedy fest, comedy fest at the great outdoor comedy fest. We like to dance. Whoa. If, I don't know if you can tell, but if I barely jiggle this table, the whole thing wiggles for a solid, like, five seconds. Oh, she's jiggling. She jiggles and wriggles and piggles her pants. Um, yeah. As we, uh, so, what's the deal with TikTok, anyway, huh? America's banning it, I guess. But when's it happening? The thing was signed, was it not? Why is it still here? I mean, I'm in Canada, I know. But I'm seeing all the Americans on there still. What, like, what, what happens? Okay, they sign the shit. And it goes through some more stuff and more stuff. And then when it's gone? I want to know what happens when it's gone. Okay, because when it's gone, I'm still going to be able to use it because I'm in Canada. But all the Americans that I follow, they're not going to use it. So they're going to come up. With another platform, whether it's Instagram or remember Byte? Remember Byte was a good was a thing for a bit? Everyone was like, oh, Vine's gone, TikTok's here, and TikTok's popular, but let's have this app called Byte. B-Y-T-E. I had a fucking link at the end of my episodes for a little while there. Remember that was popping off? We all thought that was gonna be the next Vine, but guess what? It's not. It it went as fast as it came. Y'all forgot about Byte. Y'all forgot about it. But the TikTok, what's going on? Is it leaving or is it staying? Is it coming? Is it going? Um, but here's the thing, okay? I like TikTok. I've been liking it. And I never thought I'd be a person who would like it. But I, I unfortunately do. Because it, there's funny videos on there. There's educational videos on there. There's stupid videos. There's... There's any kind of fucking video you want. All ages, too. It sucks you in, unfortunately. Um, But there's people on there who gain at least a 1,000 followers or more, and then they start making money off of it because they go on TikTok Live. And they basically don't do anything. They just film themselves on camera and they say, hey, audience, thank you for the rose. Thank you for the galaxy. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Boppity boopity pop pop. Send me this. Send me that. Right? People send them the little gifts that have a, 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 a quantity of money associated with it. And they just say, thank you. Thank you. All right? And they get pissed when their audience doesn't send them anything. When they don't get the handout. They don't get it. All right? And I was scrolling, and you all, you all know this. This is not anything new. This is not a new concept. 
But I was scrolling through the talk and I saw this dude who did an impression of these fucking little inbred pieces of shit. And I said, my God, this guy hit the nail on the head. Hi, Shelly. Rebecca, I don't do that. That's on Cameo. What's go Guys, where, where are the gifts? More than just roses. Thank you, Pete. We need more. Thank you, though. Okay, guys. Mm -mm. What's happening? Okay, what is going on? I used to get a lot more gifts. What, what What's happening? Right? Do we not have jobs? What are we doing, guys? Okay? I come on here every day, okay? And I'm chatting to you. I'm being respectful. You need to show that same respect back. Or else oh. I'm not... I won't come on anymore. I just won't, guys. Angelica, thank you. Finally. Let's get some stuff going through, guys. It's really frustrating, okay? <laughs> because this is my time I'm giving. Dude. And I feel like you guys... Aren't, aren't respecting it, if I'm being honest. It's really annoying. Peter, I don't do that anymore. I don't do those vlogs. I'm done with that. You know, guys, I'm going to head off early because if you want to see more of me... Oh, no, I'm... No. <laughs> okay. That's what it's like. The disrespect. And I'm not talking from the audience. I'm talking from the person behind the camera. They just expect their audience to fucking give and give and give. And then they get frustrated when the audience doesn't. They're like, why am I even on this live if you're not going to fucking give me money? This is, this is the society that we live in now. This is what children are doing. This is how they expect to make money nowadays. What did he say here in the middle? Respectful. You need to show that same respect. Wait. I'm here every day, yeah. okay? And I'm chatting to you. I'm being respectful. It's so true. He's like, well, I'm on here every day. I'm chatting to you. I'll be respectful. You got to show me the same respect. It's like, no, dude. We don't have to show you fucking shit. And I know this. I know the guy's doing an act, okay? I don't think I'm talking to him directly. I'm talking about the people out there. The audience doesn't have to give you any fucking thing. You should be grateful for any sort of income you get, whether it's like a penny, a dollar, $200, $50, $500, whatever the fuck it is, you should be grateful that somebody's even willing to fucking take money out of their fucking wallet and give it to you in the first place. But no, everyone thinks like, not everyone, but the washed up influencers feel like simply because of the fact that they turned their camera on that they deserve getting money. That's what they think. And it's just, it's disgusting, dude. It's, if, it, if, it, it, it fucking, it just, it fucking makes me want to vomit. Because eh, so many people are entitled. They want it all. They want it all, but they don't understand the concept of actually working for it. They think, oh, because I have a hundred thousand followers, ah, you should just give me the money, baby. Just give me the money. Like this fucking idiot. All right, this is nothing to do with TikTok. All right, but the same kind of people who get pissed off that their audience isn't giving them gifts is the same kind of person who reacts like this when they get in a little fender bender. My car is damaged. Where? It's right here. If you want to see, you oh, can come over. Oh, shit. Why are you hitting my car, lady? Because it's not damaged, you bitch. Oh, my God. Tell her to get away from me. She's crazy. Oh. <laughs> the fucking gaslighting, dude. You know, just talk, you know, talk with her, you know. And it's not damaged. Who's I the, mean, usually what guy? you're supposed to do you're, you're in an to... accident yeah. is we exchange information. You bitch. Oh my god, the entitlement. And she's not even young either. She's like an old fucking You're lady. Bitch. You're the bitch. It's so stupid, dude. Is she driving away? Have we let him? Yeah. Huh? I got it, man. Okay, like, okay, obviously that, that black feller there was obviously just working, you know, at the store or whatever, because he's got his high vis vest on. And he tells her to get the license plate at the end. But it's like fucking gaslighting, dude. She, the curl, the crazy fucking bitch in the black car, 
hit the girl in the white car <laughs> and then she's scurry like yelling calling calling the other girl a bitch for simply wanting to exchange information for damage that she did and the girl in the white car filming was very calm very normal mind you i do got to say when she was hitting the white car she did fucking fix the bumper oh, shit why are you hitting my car lady yes it's not damaged she did fix it but you still hit the fucking car have a conversation with the lady don't react like this she's upset because she's like i don't want to deal with life i have i don't want to deal with life it's too scary whenever any little thing go doesn't go someone's way nowadays they react like this they act like little fucking bitches dude whether it's male or fucking female all right and even the males and the females nowadays don't even want to be the fucking gender that they were born. They want to go against it. Why? Because they're too fucking scared to do anything nowadays. Everything's too fucking scary for people. So they have to change. They have to change. They have to, they have to make sure that it doesn't, uh, that they're not involved in the situation because it's too fucking, it's too much, it gives me too much anxiety, and I'm depressed, and I'm a bear. Shut up, dude. All right, and the fact that she hugs this guy. Look, okay, he has, he has his fucking uh, badge on. Where are they? Can I zoom in? It won't let me. Can I zoom in here? Ah, fuck off. Oh, that's Costco? Looks like it says Costco, or maybe Meat Co. or something. Okay, so he's obviously just a Costco employee. Maybe I can see if it's Costco. Oh my God. Wait, what does the building say here? Yeah, it's Costco. You can see it's Costco. So what does she say? Wait, wait, wait. Bitch! Did you tell her to get away from me? She's crazy. Yo, she's the crazy one, eh? You know, just look, you know, took me to, you know, it's not damaged. I mean, usually what you're Why is she hugging to do him? in an accident yeah. is we exchange information. See, he agrees. Bitch. Bitch. Why does she say that? You are a crazy bitch. Oh. Dude, like, what, do you, what would you do in that situation? It would be very hard for me, as the person who got hit and the person who is filming. First off, I wouldn't want to film. I do and I don't, okay? Because uh, for me, it's like it's so cringy to be the first one to pull out your camera and record what's going on. To me, that's cringy as fuck. But it's valid evidence and it should be used. So I probably would, but I would hate that I'd have to do that. Second, if that's how the person reacted, it would be very hard for me to contain my rage. I would get mad. Oh, I'd get very mad. <laughs> But what do you do? And it's like, it's just, it's mental illness, is it not? That person is mentally unwell. And there's so many people like that nowadays. So many. That used to be a rare fucking occurrence. Was it not? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe everyone's, maybe a lot of people are well, always like this, but we just never had the opportunity nor the capability of filming people. And now we do. So we're seeing it all the time. It's crazy, dude. Is she driving away? She's driving away. She's like, I I hit your vehicle. It's not that bad of damage. It might not be any damage at all. But I'm just going to call you a crazy fucking psycho bitch over and over again and hug this guy because I feel unsafe. Because everyone feels fucking unsafe nowadays. And drive off because she didn't want to deal with it. Now, what if she backed into that car and did some massive damage? I bet she would have reacted the same fucking way. She probably would have started crying and be like, I can't deal with this. This is too much for me. It's stressing me out. I got anxiety. Please leave me alone. You know, like that's worse than dealing with the fucking damage itself. 
You know? You know what I'm saying? Having to deal with fucking shitheads like this is worse than dealing with the damage itself. Going to the, uh, through the insurance or whatever. So it's like, fuck me, man. People are pussies. Charlie Brown was retarded. And Charlie Brown. Um. Yeah, I mean, she, the crazy thing, the, the, the car wasn't damaged. She did actually fix it. <laughs> she just fucking hit it a bunch of times and it did go back into place, but she was correct. That's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? That crazy bitch in the black car, she if she knows the bumper wasn't that bad, she could have got out and said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to back into you. It was my fault. I feel like I can fix this if I just hit this. Boom, boom, boom. It's back in place. What do you say? We don't have to go through insurance. What do you say? You know, say it like that. Just if you just communicate like that, pop the bumper back into place. Boppity boopity. No damage done. We'll just move on with our lives. If you just communicate like that, rather than fucking freaking out, the same result could have came about this. The same fucking result. But no. 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 <laughs> You got to act like a crazy fucking lunatic gaslighting the other person saying they're the fucking crazy one and drive off in a fucking panic. And now you're she's just adding to her fucking anxiety. You wonder why these people have anxiety is because they deal with shit like this and they don't resolve their fucking problems and it builds on top of each other like fucking stacking bricks one on top of the other. And one of these days... That br those bricks are going to fall over and you're fucking, you're just going to explode and either kill yourself or some fucking terrible thing is going to happen because you're going to explode on someone because the bricks are too fucking high and it's just, your whole life's going to fall apart. Don't stack the bricks, people. Okay? Build a wall properly with the bricks by solving the problem. Don't just stack them on top of each other because you're too fucking scared. Yeah, it sucks, dude. It sucks, and people are weird. There's too many weirdos. My name is Jay. I'm 28 years old, and I'm addicted to snorting baby powder. <laughs> Look at her, man. How do you... How? If I didn't have baby powder, I don't think I would be able to... If you did... um. I must admit, baby powder does smell delicious, okay? So I am I can guess how this got started, all right? I love the smell of baby powder. It smells great. Uh, but how do you get to the point where you're snorting it? To function. Jay's addiction to snorting baby powder began 16 years ago. She started by rubbing the powder on her body, As one but should. eventually the scent wasn't strong enough. Oh, fuck. I would just keep putting that closer and closer to my nose. And Damn. one day, oh. obviously, oh, just went no. from putting it close Look to at my that. nose, actually shoving it up in my nose. Now she snorts baby powder at least 10 times a day. Are you fucking kidding when me? When I get home, I can't wait to get to my baby powder. What does it I do? I do it until I can't take it anymore. Has she tried coke? When I found out she was addicted to the baby powder, a part of me wanted to say, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of anybody else snort baby powder. Well, of course. What the hell? What could it possibly do for you? Do you think it gets her high? Probably not. Doesn't baby powder cause cancer? Uh, sure. Bro, my strange addiction couldn't have been real. See, that's the other thing. Oh yeah, the girl who eats sofas. My strange addiction. Wow. Could it be possible they're just making this shit up? What if it's all fake? I'm trying to keep this like a, a fist from your face. Joe, don't tell me what to do, brother. Okay, guys, let's do some dancing. Let's show me my moves. If, uh, like, what if, what if, what if it's all fake? 
How do we know? How do we know this woman isn't actually snorting baby powder? I kind of want to try it now. You know? What if it's great? What could it possibly do for her, though? It's not getting her high. She it, she said she just likes the smell. <sighs> Smells nice. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Oh, I'm getting hungry. All this talk of baby powder going up my nose. It's making me hungry. Hunger. Ah, delicious, Janice. Thanks. We are the world. We are the world. Let's cut to a commercial break. After these messages, we'll be right back. Today's first sponsor of the day is Liquid Meth. When you see these tall boys all over social media called Liquid Meth, a lot of people want to know what they are. It may look like beer or some crazy energy drink, but it's not. It's liquid meth. It's actually meth in beverage form. That makes meth infused mountain spring water, low sugar sodas, and low sugar iced teas too. I've been drinking this stuff for a long time, and I'm glad they're partnering with us because you can murder your thirst and your brain cells with liquid meth. It is delicious. I like a big can of liquid meth water because regular water sometimes is boring and lame. Thankfully, you can now drink it out of a big old tall boy. You can get free shipping of liquid meth's mountain water and meth-infused iced tea packs with Amazon Prime. Or grab a can or a case at your local 7-Eleven, Target, Walmart, or Whole Foods, or Instacart. Go to www.liquidmeth.com gizmo to check out their healthy, infinitely recyclable beverages and find your closest retailer. That's liquidmeth.com slash gizmo. Liquidmeth.com slash G-I-Z-M-O. We're back, people. How was that? You like these commercials? <laughs> pretty, pretty wacky. Pretty wild. You know, this podcast is going to get to a point where I'm not going to have clips anymore. Well, uh, well, I guess I can't say that. I'll have to just switch to Instagram or something. If TikTok doesn't stay alive, which I hope it does, well, I mean, it will in Canada, unless someone else shuts it down. But I don't know. Maybe Canada sucks right now. Not going to lie. Canada kind of sucks. Everything's expensive. Yada, yada. (laughs) I don't like to talk politics, especially not on the podcast. Why? Because I don't know fucking shit about it. I don't know shit about it. I know it sucks. I know some reasons why it sucks. But if you were to ask me specific questions about the gov and the person running our gov, I wouldn't know what to tell you. I know he sucks and I hate him. But why? I don't even know. (laughs) I have no idea. I mean, I kind of know. I know some uh, key talking points of things that I hate. But I don't know what's going on. I don't fucking know, dude. I just know that I want him out of here. You know who I'm talking about. Jackpot. Um. I haven't played that one in a while. Okay, so sometime throughout the 200s, the episodes of the 200s, I, wow, well, should I spoil it? I don't even know. Well, no, that's not a spoil. I was going to say something else that I was going to do on to uh, episode 200, but I can't say it because I'll spoil it. And we don't want to spoil. We don't want to spoil those boiled eggs. Give me some boiled eggs. Man, I'm fucking hungry, dude. I'm fucking hungry. I'm doing this thing now where I just don't eat. I just don't eat all day. And then uh, right now it's 7 p.m. And I have yet to eat today. Isn't that fucking crazy? 
I call it the, uh, the, um, I'm trying to have a play on words with Ozempic, but without taking Ozempic. I'm not on Ozempic, but if I were on Ozempic, this is how I would react to situations. I guess it's just called fasting. <laughs> oh man, what am I going to eat? I have no food here. I'm just going to starve. Starving. You know, the, the people in the Holocaust had it good. Okay. They were starving for days. All right. Nowadays, people do that as a lifestyle. But back then in the Holocaust, they did it because they were forced to. And look at the weight that they lost quite a bit. And now we pay people money to help us do that. Isn't that wild? Anyone else out there on Ozempic? Listen, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like pharmaceutical drugs. I've been on them throughout my entire 20s. All kinds of them. Antidepressants, anti-anxiety. And what you come to realize is it's a temporary solution for a long-term issue. I know you've heard that before, but it's true. All right, it feels good at first. It feels great at first. But then what you realize is the side effects outweigh the positives of the drug. They do. And you just become this mind-numbed person who doesn't have... Not only are they not sad anymore, not only are you not sad anymore, but you're also not anything. You're not happy. You're not joyful. You're not excited. You're not uh, expressive. You're not caring. You're not, uh, you're not empathetic with other people. You're just this mind-numbed hunk of meat floating through time. And nothing bothers you but also nothing makes you happy either. You just kind of exist. You, and you realize like, fuck, this sucks. Because when something sad is supposed to happen in your life, you're not even sad about it anymore. You're just, you just like, you're numb to it. And you can't live like that. You got to let your emotions be emotionful. It's been... I've been doing a lot of talking on this podcast lately. A lot of talking and not a lot of giggles. We got to change that. And we're going to change that right now. <laughs> he speaks German? Wow, the Swedish chef got jacked. Funny, guys. Yeah, you guys are real fucking funny. I don't want to wait for my lunch to get colder.
I don't want to wait for my lunch to get colder. Why can't I eat it now? I don't want to wait for the new Toyota. I want the car that's got a lot of gas. Come on. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you say about family gay. Pressure on it. Like we gotta start out strong. We. Oh fuck! There's a new bad friends. Oh, Dax Flame. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Add this to the watch yeah. later. How do I do that? Boom. I like bad friends. What do you think? You like them? You hate them? You think they're kind of gray or gay? <laughs> nah, they're good. They're good guys. A couple of a funny comedian meads. Uh, you tell them, mummy. Uh, tell them again. Uh, One more time. Uh, and. Um. <laughs> oh, I don't want to wait for my lunch to get colder. But if I do, I'll surely be with you. I don't want to wait. For my lunch to get colder. Imagine interfering with something like this. You're just trying to do your job. You're just trying to lift the deck from the back of your truck. And you hear these gargoyle fucking demonic sounds. Listen. Hear it? Oh, there he is. What's he doing? Hey, bro, once I start moving, very calm. You better get out the way, bro. Get out the way, bro. Once I start moving, get off of that. Get off of that, bro. He's counting to 100. Why? How'd he get there? And was he counting to from 1 to 100? He's just sitting on the underside of the trailer on the landing gear. Just counting to 100 like a fucking demon. 99. 98. Oh, wait. 100. 100. <laughs> 100. What are you doing down there? To call my black ass down. <laughs> I have to count to 100 to calm my black ass down. That shit's terrifying. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> coming back to your truck like you see this guy under there. First off, okay, that's unsettling as it is. But then, then he's saying I have to count to 100 to calm my black ass down. So he's obviously been in a situation before where he hasn't counted to 100 and he's uh, been on some sort of violent spree. <laughs> 98, 99, 100. <laughs> he's just walking away. I have to count to 100. To calm my black ass down. That's scary, man. <laughs> hey, get up the road. Oh, he's going to get... Oh, okay. There's no more. He would have got ran over. He put himself in timeout. <laughs> he put himself in timeout, of course. 100. One hundred. Yeah, the truck did sound haunted. Glad he calmed down. I'm glad he calmed down too because what would he have done if he didn't? This is my question. Did he start at one? How long was he there? So many questions. I know, right? How long How long has he been there? There's no way he started from... Well, he might have started from one if the guy who was operating the truck was inside... 
unloading the truck or whatever, and he could have been under there the whole time, just like one, two, three. <laughs> oh fuck! I, this is a great technique. I'm glad he has tools to help him when he is triggered. It is a great technique. Not gonna lie. Someone obviously told him to do that, though. He didn't come up with that himself. <laughs> Well, maybe he did. I don't know. I just don't think a guy like that is smart enough to, to know that technique. Unless that's what he was told to do as a child. And that existential trauma has stuck with him to this day. And he's just always done that. <laughs> because as a kid, he would freak out and throw shit and maybe stab people. And then his teacher was like, hey, little Jerome, you got to count to 100 to calm your black ass down. I guess it wouldn't be some white guy who said it. It would probably be some black teacher who said that. No white teacher is going to tell him to calm his black ass down. <laughs> or maybe they did. I don't know. But whoever it was, they told him to calm his black ass down by counting to 100. So now he just repeats that. 99. 100. I have to count to 100 to calm my black ass down. <laughs> Imagine hearing that under your truck. It would freak you the fuck out. At least he got up and left, though. Because what if he got to 100 and then he just stayed? 98. Get off of that. 99. Get off of that, bro. 100. <laughs> 100. <laughs> I had to count. What are you doing down there? To call my black ass down. And I count to 100 to call my black ass down. I had to count to 100. Like, what's going on in bro's head? You know? Like, he could have sat down on a bench, maybe. But he's like, nope, I'm going to sit on the underside of this trailer on the landing gear. What if that guy didn't hear him or like traffic was loud and he just hopped in his truck and fucked off? That guy would have jumped off. He would have tripped. He would have slipped because the ground's all wet from the rain. He would have got ran over. He just doesn't give a fuck. Doesn't give two fucks. Um. That's the world we live in. Everybody's fucked. Especially this guy. Here's our, here's our weekly update. Of Joshua Block from World of T-Shirts. All right. Obviously, he's on Cameo. How else is he going to make his money? <laughs> okay. But this is a Cameo that someone received from him. Shall we check it out? Okay. Hi, Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even say anything. He doesn't say anything. And I don't even know what name he said. Hi, Ashen. <laughs> Listen, I know I feel bad for the guy, obviously, because of all the shit that he's going through. But sometimes you just got to laugh at him. I mean, that's what we did in the beginning, but now it's just... Hi, Ashen. <laughs> What's he staring for? Is he going to... That's it. That is it. That's the end of the cameo. Someone paid him to do that. It looked like he was about to read what he was supposed to say. And then he just gave up. And did the lead paint stare. Hi, Ocean. <laughs> what? Hi, Ashen. I bet it was maybe Ashton? Hi, Ashen. Or, you know what? Maybe he pronounced the name wrong. And then he realizes he pronounced the name wrong. So the stare is him trying to figure out how to pronounce the name properly. Think about it like that. Hi, Ashen. See? He realizes he, he pronounced the name wrong. Now he's trying to calculate how to say the name properly, but he can't figure it out. So the cameo ends and he's like, fuck it. I'll just send that. They already paid me. No refunds. You get what you get. 
Howard says, what was he supposed to say? Exactly. How much? That's what I want to know. What do the replies say? $35. Someone paid $35 for that. Could you imagine? <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you're paying $35 for a Joshua Block World of T-shirts cameo, you're honestly going to expect something like this. I would honestly be disappointed if he actually said what he's supposed to say. It's kind of genius when you think about it. Hi, Ocean. <laughs> I mean, because he's clearly hung the fuck over. And he made this, like, first thing in the morning when he wake up, when he woke up. It's actually probably two in the afternoon. He's just waking up after a night of fucking hardcore zinking. If only Daniel Larson had one. Well, if Daniel Larson had one, he would uh, get that toothbrush involved. I didn't. I don't want to bring up Daniel Larson. Um, Daniel Larson's kind of in the same sort of boat as like Joshua Block, but he's on like a whole nother level. If you know Daniel Larson, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't even want to bring him up. I just want to stick to Joshua Block. Daniel's in jail right now, supposedly for like 64 years or <laughs> some crazy shit. But yeah, I don't even, there's the toothbrush. If if you want, just look up Daniel Larson toothbrush on Reddit. That'll, that that's a good way to start the, the, the train rolling. If you want to, if you want to figure out who Daniel Larson is. Boingo Bungo says, now I want one. He wants one of the Joshua Block cameos. Uh, why on earth would anyone want to give an alcoholic racist loser money for a cameo? Well, some people, some people like to spend their money on weird shit. What does he have? What does he have? He's got a lot of issues. Alcoholism, uh, uh, autism, uh, no parents. I mean, the list goes on. It's actually 35. This guy says... 45 maybe it is 45 I don't know either way people are paying money for it and uh, honestly like I said if I was paying for a Joshua Block cameo I wouldn't expect anything less than this I actually have one oh fuck did I not play this oh shit dude I forgot about this this is the fucking highlight of the episode and I forgot to play this so we'll play it right now there's this fella at Disneyland, and he spots his favorite character, uh, Daphne, from uh, Scoopy Doo. Let's watch. Can you say Jeepers? Jeepers! Nice. You know my catchphrase. Yeah, What's I'm kind of a big fan. Are you? Yeah. All right. Do you have a catchphrase? I don't know. I gotta think of one. Okay. Well, here I'll scare you, and whatever comes out is your catchphrase. Ready? Boop. Penis. <laughs> It's so childish, <laughs> but it's so fucking funny. <laughs> I just wish there was more because I want to know Daphne's reaction. I feel bad for her because she's she has to stay in character. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, fuck, dude, opportunity taken and achieved. Bribery. Can you say Jeepers? Jeepers! Nice. You know my catchphrase! Yeah, What's I'm kind of a big fan. Are you? Yeah, all right. Do you have a catchphrase? I don't know, I gotta think of one. Okay, well here, I'll scare you, and whatever comes out is your catchphrase. Ready? Boop! Penis. <laughs> oh my god. Because he's, oh, it's just, it's beautiful. What a beautiful clip. I wish this one was fresh for me, though. I already watched this one coming into it. God damn it, my glasses are filthy right now. You can't tell, but they are dusty and full of fingerprints. As usual, when are they going to fucking invent glasses that don't get dusty and fingerprinty and greasy immediately? You notice how you clean your glasses and literally immediately after, they're filth. It's a nonstop fucking battle with glasses. This video is fucking golden. If I had the Scroop scale, I would give it a 10. But I stopped the Scroop scale. I don't know why. Should I bring it back out? 
Let's bring it out right now if I can. Let's see. Let's see if I can bring it out. Let's see. I don't even know if I have it on this computer. Uh Oh. I don't know if it's going to open. I have the file, but I don't know if I have the files. If you know what I mean. Oh, this isn't it. That's not what I'm looking for. Here it is. This might work. <laughs> we might have a scoop scale. I just spit. I just spit everywhere. Oh my god, we have it. <laughs> yeah, Nagasaki. Hold on. Um... How do I shut off all those little fucking pink things? Uh, what is this? Aha, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Woo. Okay, so that video, we're going to give a boom. This is why I hate the Scroop scale. It's stupid. What do I do? I'm like, oh, this video gets a fucking boom. Cool. What about this video? <laughs> the opening clip? This was funny, dude. <laughs> this man. <laughs> it's just some guy. <laughs> it's just some guy in a pig costume singing some <laughs> singing some love song. And then this guy rolls up in one of those e-bikes. <laughs> and I don't even know how he falls. He doesn't trip over anything. It's just like he slams on his front brake and then... <laughs> Why is he in a pig costume, though? <laughs> and he just waddles over and helps him up. Dude, this gets a 10, too. Er, well, hmm. Maybe we should give this a boom. No, we'll give this a 10. Because we can't give two of the same numbers out, right? So is this how we should do it? Just recap every video at the end and just give thing and give things a number? I don't know, dude. It's fucking, it's pointless. Do we not have jobs? I mean, this is good too. Like, they're all 10s, dude. What am I going to do? What's the point of the scale? You know, the scale, this is why the scale sucks. Every time I try, I, I wanted to, I want to use it. I want to use it, but it fucking sucks. The only way this works is if I get a big enough audience where I can get people to send videos to me and then I rate them. Cause if I'm using the videos that I already curated, of course they're all going to be fucking tens. Of course they're going to be tens. So, uh, Maybe if I ever actually get a fucking audience, we can utilize that scale. And I already went over this last time. Anyway, how far are we into this shit? Oh, perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dynamite, next episode is 200. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I can't fucking wait. I can't wait for this shit. Hopefully you die so we don't have to do anymore. Hey. Don't talk to me like that. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to the audience. Listen, buddy. All right? I fucking saved you. You were going to rot away in a box for the rest of your life. Do you think anybody on this planet is thinking about Joe, Louie, dynamite figures? I don't think so. Yeah, you're fucking right. You're goddamn right, buddy. This will be the last time you ever talk back to me. You got it? Yeah, I got it. All right. As long as we're on the same page. Oh, I'm on the same page. <clears throat> um. Well, I'm hungry as shit. And, uh... <laughs> anyway. That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. 
if you if you did enjoy it go ahead and subscribe please i'm begging you from the bottom of my heart please just subscribe i'm begging you <laughs> i've got nowhere else to turn I've got no one else to go to. And like and comment. Hit the bell. I don't care, dude. All right. Do you think I give a shit at this point? It's been 13 fucking years and I haven't got, I haven't even reached 300 subscribers. Do you think I care at this point if I don't get one extra one? It's been 13 years. It's been. Um. It's been more than that. Alexa. How long ago was 2009? 14 years ago. She's still talking. You probably can't hear her, but she's still talking. Alexa, stop it. And technically, I started in uh, 2007. But that's a whole other story that I've already talked about over and over again. And we don't need to fucking barrel that dumb dead horse again. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Downing Gizzle Podcast. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Bye.